Hey everyone, welcome back to theclinicaltrialsguru.com. I was getting ready for work this morning, and I'm actually pulling up to the clinic now, but I was getting ready for work this morning, I thought, man, what do I have to do this week? You know, it's uh, been a long three-day weekend, Memorial Day, for those of you watching in the future. Um, what I need to do this week, and, and I, you know, I went through the list of things I need to do, and one of them is to hire a new coordinator. I have to find a new study coordinator, and I was thinking in my mind, what am I going to be looking for? What type of person am I going to be looking for? What are the things that my ideal candidate will say? And I thought this would be a fantastic video for those of you study coordinators out there, or those of you hoping to become study coordinators. Shameless plug here, I got a book on Amazon Kindle for $9.99. It's called the, Research, the Clinical Research Study Coordinator Manual. Shameless plug, but go get it on your Kindle. I need to move those units. Um, so I was thinking, what am I looking for in an ideal candidate? Number one, you got to show an interest in clinical trials, okay? Now, I don't necessarily need to hire people with prior experience, although in this case I am, but for the most part, I find, I find people who are willing to learn and have a huge passion and desire for learning about the industry, and then we will train them. And many of our coordinators were found this way. Um, so you don't necessarily have to have a huge experience. What you want to do is demonstrate your passion for clinical trials. So you got to definitely do your homework, check out our blogs for tons of information. You'll be able to wow your future employers. Get the ebook, of course. Another thing, find out what therapeutic specialty, what medical specialty that research clinic focuses in. And then you got to demonstrate a passion for that too. The biggest mistake I've seen people make when I'm interviewing them for study coordinator jobs is they ask about money. Right away that's a tell that's a that's a sure tell that this person's not really interested in this job. He just wants a paycheck. He or she. Um, not that there's anything wrong with money. Money is important for all of us. There's a time and place to discuss compensation. It should not be one of your top 10 questions that you ask in the interview. Um, you know, if, if you don't mention anything, the employer might actually tell you what the compensation will be. Uh, but demonstrate passion and demonstrate why you want to be a study coordinator. And keep in mind, a study coordinator is the backbone of a clinical trial. So you, this ideal candidate is going to want to have their hands in a lot of different places at the same time, like drawing blood, resolving queries, taking care of adverse events, making sure the study participants are doing okay on their study meds, different things like that. You want to demonstrate that your multitasking abilities are fantastic, that you have a great passion for clinical trials, a great passion for the therapeutic indication, um, and things like that. So as a study coordinator, you wear many hats. You don't, want to, you don't want to put yourself in a box and let them think that you're just you know, compartmentalizing yourself. You want to let them know that you can do it all. And believe me, the more versatile you are as a study coordinator and the better you're able to demonstrate this, the greater your chances of getting hired. Really quick, I want to thank Sarah Siegler, Resolve Research Solutions, PTNR, Erdhart Clinical Trials, and Accurate Clinical Trials for being our guru sponsors. Find out how to become a guru sponsor yourself and let me promote the hell out of your company. This is Dan from theclinicaltrialsguru.com.